Hi there everyone, welcome to Daisy Poppet's farm and this is Kaz. In today's video I'm going to show you how I make these really fun funfetti cookies. I'm sure they're going to be a hit with kids of all ages and they would make a really fun baking um, activity with the little ones. So without much further ado, let's get into this recipe. Alrighty, let's get started with our recipe. You want to go ahead and preheat your oven to 170 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And you're going to need two cookie sheets. You can use baking paper or um, silicon baking mats like I have here. It's whatever you have on hand. To make my cookie dough, I'm going to use a stand mixer that has a paddle attachment. And in the mixing bowl, you want to add in 150 grams of caster sugar and 170 grams of softened unsalted butter. And then we're going to cream that together until it's light and fluffy. Okay, the sugar and butter mixture has been creamed together until it's not light, light and fluffy and um, I've just scraped the bowl down and to this mixture you want to add one egg plus an extra egg yolk and a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then you're just going to mix this together until it's smooth The next step after adding in the egg, the egg yolk and the vanilla extract is to add in half a teaspoon each of bicarb soda and fine sea salt and one teaspoon of lemon juice. And then we're going to just mix that through together. The next step is to add in slowly 250 grams of sifted plain flour you just want to just mix the ingredients together until the flour is just combined with the other ingredients so i've just put in a quarter of the flour and i'm just going to mix that through on a very low speed some more very hard doing it one-handed bit okay, that should be good we don't want to overwork this dough because we've got to add in some sprinkles yet now for the fun part I'm going to add in 160 grams of some coloured sprinkles. You can choose whatever colour you like. I'm just going to mix this through the batter on a very low speed. Shape our cookie cookies. This is what your cookie dough should look like 
when um, you've mixed your sprinkles through the batter. Now I'm going to just use a tablespoon to scoop the cookie dough into little balls and then I'm going to evenly put them onto my baking sheets. Alrighty, my cookies are now ready to be put in the oven. I've only put six on a tray um, because I think they're going to spread quite a lot and um, yeah, I don't want them running into each other. So these are going to go into the oven and I'm going to bake them for about 10 minutes and I'm going to see whether or not they're ready after 10 minutes. Okay, I've taken our cookies out of the oven after about 10 minutes. You want to bake these just on the bit of the, the under bakes side because we're actually going to leave them on the tray for about five minutes to cool before we actually transfer them onto wire racks to finish off cooling. And because of the residual heat on the baking tray, they will bake a little bit more. Okay, the cookies have been cooling on their cookie sheets for about five minutes and I've just transferred them over to a cooling rack to completely cool down. Um, and then you just want to repeat the process of depositing your cookie batter onto the cookie sheets and baking them off um, like I showed you before um, just to make to get through the rest of the cookie dough this recipe is enough to make 24 cookies you can easily double the recipe to make more and I hope that you enjoyed this recipe if you did um, and you would like to see more of my recipes please leave a comment in below and I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Bye for now.